Many Mac users want to know, can we actually play Windows games on our Macs? With Apple Silicon chips becoming more powerful, gaming on Mac is evolving rapidly. I've been testing Parallels desktop extensively and I'm going to share everything I've discovered about running Windows games on Mac. What is Parallels desktop? Parallels desktop is virtualization software that lets you run Windows and Windows application directly on your Mac without rebooting. This is particularly exciting for us gamers because it means we can potentially access thousands of Windows exclusive games that aren't available on Mac OS. With latest version, Parallel Desktop 20.2 brings some interesting updates specifically for Apple Silicon Macs, including an early preview of the x86 emulation, which we'll discuss later. The beauty of Parallel is that it integrates Windows seamlessly with Mac OS. We can run Windows in full screen mode for an immersive gaming experience or use coherence mode where Windows apps appears alongside our Mac app. Getting started with Parallel Desktop is straightforward. After downloading and installing Parallel Desktop from their website, we are guided through creating a Windows virtual machine. The software automatically downloads Windows 11 ARM, which is optimized for Apple Silicon Macs. The whole installation process takes about 30 minutes and most of it is automated. One thing that's important to understand is that we need to allocate resources to our Windows virtual machine. For gaming, I recommend allocating at least half of your available RAM and CPU cores. On my M1 Pro with 32 GB of RAM, I found that allocating 16 GB to Windows gives the best balance of performance while keeping the Mac OS running smoothly. We can also adjust these settings later based on the requirements of specific games, compatibility and performance. Now let's talk about what actually works. Parallel Desktop currently supports DirectX 11 and earlier, as well as the OpenGL up to 4.1. This means many popular games will run, but the latest AAA titles requiring DirectX 12 might not work properly. Based on my testing and what other Mac gamers are reporting on Reddit, here's what you can expect. Older titles and less demanding games run surprisingly well. Games like Minecraft, Rocket League, older Grand Theft Auto titles, and many indie games maintain playable frame rates even at moderate settings. Strategy games like Age of Empire and Civilization also run very smoothly. For context, on my M1 Pro, I've been getting around 60 FPS in games like Rocket League, which is completely playable. Also, you will get a lot more FPS if you are using newer MacBooks with M3 or M4 chip. I've tested Battlefield 4 and other games, and I have experienced different performance with each game. Some performing quite well, some playable, and some sluggish. I found this website that has the list of games that work great with parallels. You can find it from the description below. Now, using the free trial to test out your game before getting into the subscription is what I recommend. You can find the link to the parallels in the description below. Now, where we start to see limitation is the newer and more graphically intense games. Titles released in the latest 2-3 years that push hardware requirement will either run at lower frame rates or may not run at all if they require DirectX 12. Games with anti-cheat software can be also problematic as many anti-cheat systems don't work properly in virtualized environment. x86 emulation. Parallel Desktop 20.2 introduces an early technology preview of the x86 emulation on Apple Silicon Macs. This is a significant development because it potentially allows us to run some Intel-based Windows games that weren't compatible before. However, it's important to set a realistic expectation. This feature is still in early stages with significant limitations. Boot times are quite slow and overall performance is noticeably reduced compared to native ARM applications. Based on early testing, this feature is better suited for testing and compatibility rather than actual gaming at this point. But it is a promising step forward that shows Parallels is actively working on expanding gaming compatibility for Mac users. Let me share some optimization tips that have significantly improved my gaming experience with Parallels. First, always make sure that both Parallels desktop and Windows are fully updated. Performance improvement come with each update, so staying current is important. Next, in the Parallel desktop settings, set a virtual machine profile for gaming. This automatically configures several performance-oriented settings. For graphics-intensive games, prioritize allocating more memory. I suggest at least 12 GB of RAM if your system allows it. Inside Windows, make sure to install the latest graphic drivers. Also close the unnecessary background apps for both Mac and Windows before launching the game to free up resources. And finally adjust in-game graphics settings. Lowering resolution, shadows and special effects can significantly boost your performance without dramatically affecting visual quality. Let's talk about pricing. Palace Desktop offers three editions, Standard, Pro and Business. For most gamers, the Standard Edition at $75 per year is sufficient. The Pro Edition costs $90 per year and include additional features like more 
more virtual RAM for each VM, up to 128GB and 32GB vCPUs for each VM, which can be beneficial for more demanding games and apps. If you are buying it for business, then you can take the business edition at $112 per year. There is also 14 days of free trial, so you can test whether your favorite games run well before committing to the subscription. I have checked their website and there are mostly 25% discount on it, so you can check out the details in the link in the description below as I regularly update those. Conclusion Overall, Parallels Desktop is a viable solution for Mac gaming, but with some caveats. It works great for casual to moderate gaming, especially with older titles and less demanding games. The experience is seamless and the integration with macOS is excellent. However, if you are primarily a gamer who plays the latest AAA titles, you might want to consider having a dedicated Windows PC or gaming console alongside your Mac. That said, for most casual gamers who primarily use Mac for work or school and want to play games occasionally, Parallels Desktop offers a fantastic compromise that eliminates the need for a separate gaming machine. That's it for today. If you found this video helpful, then hit the subscribe button, drop a comment letting me know what games you would like to see tested on Mac with Parallels and I'll try to cover them in the future videos. Now if you are looking for a web-based vector design tool, then you can watch this video right here. And if you are looking for a way to clean your Mac, then there you go. Like, share, subscribe, stay safe, bye-bye.